Welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. Today we're gonna do all the majors here over YouTube and for those of you who want to see the full version are welcome to do so over my site. The link is in the description below. While I wrote the intro disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So as usual, we're gonna take a look at the news events, uh, the major ones. As you see, Monday is um, no major news event, uh, bank holiday in Japan. We start Tuesday with monetary policy meeting minutes for the Aussie. Euro, we have uh, President Draghi speech. Uh, Wednesday, monetary policy statement for the Japanese. I'm not expecting uh, much of fireworks. Um, nothing will change over there. Uh, for sterling, the CPI year on year is an important number to take a look at since um, we've been dipping lower, but um, in August we had a print of uh, 2.5 and now the market is forecasting 2.4. So this is going to be an important event to look at. Another speech by Draghi on uh, Wednesday as well. I don't think we're going to see any fireworks. If anything, you're going to say it's going to be on Tuesday probably and the usual crude oil inventories uh, later thursday gdp quarter and quarter for new zealand and uh, for the swiss sea we do have uh, monetary policy assessment retail sales uh, month on month for the sterling and on friday cad uh, the cpi month on month and core retail sales two important numbers for the cas so as you see no major news for uh, the dollar next week and if we uh, start where we ended last week um, and uh, take a look and both weekly and daily you see that um, last week uh, it was a bitish week until friday where we got a uh, rejection at this level now we are trading still below the 200 moving average on the weekly and <clears throat> on the daily we broke below uh, this neckline and I was looking for a retest and probably a continuation lower to test this low down here. So Friday was a bullish engulfing actually. And as you see on the four hour, we did a retest of this structure. Um, we never had a close above this level. So um, I was uh, actually looking after this break of the neckline for another uh, push lower to test the monthly S1. So. We are back inside another range on the dollar. I think we need to keep an eye on this uh, range right here. Uh, this is gonna be an important area for the dollar. And to look at the major levels, you see guys that uh, this down here is a major level, yeah? So we need to keep an eye on that. Any break below this gonna send us back down toward these levels um, as well. Uh, for the upside on uh, the dollar, we uh, gonna take a look at uh, these levels up here. Yeah, 95.70 is uh, the level that will change the direction for a longer term. So a break, a retest, and continuation at that level is needed for to change this longer term view. If we go back to the daily and put the the hundred moving average, you see that. On Friday we did actually um, both Thursday and Friday we tested that um, to uh, the hundred moving average I was expecting to see if that to get broken then that we may keep pushing lower yeah we never got that break this could be a possible continuation from here but uh, there is no need to uh, start getting uh, things I think uh, we need to uh, start making uh, higher highs and higher lows on the four hour to start thinking about any continuation um, to the upside for the dollar from here yeah so um, yeah we have this range we still uh, inside as I showed you on four hour that you need to uh, keep an eye at now what talk for a possible <laughs> A continuation for the dollar to the upside is this weakness showing on the gold once again so 
the gold is also stuck here down inside uh, this range as you see let me take off these we never got that so gold also we do have uh, this uh, narrow range now trading inside that and uh, going sideways and on the daily as you see we we see weakness uh, we every time the bulls try to push to the upside they get rejected uh, last week was the same scenario the bulls tried to push to the upside got rejected yeah so sideways very important low down here if that broken uh, then uh, we may continue uh, for another push lower um the 1217 area up here gonna still uh, is a very important level for a longer term uh, on uh, on the gold but as you see guys um on the four hour time frame you see it clearly that we uh, trading sideways uh, especially um, nice push below especially after this uh, head and shoulder break here of the neckline and uh, ended the day the day near the lows uh, on the gold so uh, if we do not see some bulls entering the market um, at these levels uh, then uh, there is a possibility that gold keep pushing lower so one hour time frame once again we are testing an important support level at this level uh, down here um, keep an eye on that level this is gonna be uh, a possible last line of defense before we start uh, pushing even lower uh, if that happened uh, oil very very choppy i would say be careful and maybe stay out of oil for now uh, because we're still going sideways this up here is still our um, resistant level but uh, the tries was uh, very uh, strong to the upside toward uh, 72 both of them here got rejected right now we do have a possible double top and um, Friday was uh, very spiky as you saw so there is no trend uh, uh, clean trend I would say um, to trade and uh, really if you are new for trading I know many of uh, you um, just start trading and uh, get confused in such a scenario uh, there is no need to uh, put an effort and uh, put your money on the table trading uh, a market that not uh, compelling for you yeah so in my opinion we should leave oil uh, for a while uh, the only uh, good scenario would be if we break and close above this level here that would uh, probably open the door for another push higher yeah because the major um, time frame uh, the daily is still a bullish market as you see we are trading inside this uh, channel um, major support um, is uh, this uh, trend line and the monthly s1 down here as well if that tested uh, but in my opinion stay away from it until you reach a um, clear uh, support level um, that could help you get a much better trade uh, EURUSD does the opposite of what the Dixie do as usual we have always um, the uh, negative correlation between the two and um, yeah one was start thinking that we may test these uh, areas up here last week uh, after this nice push we broke above this neckline but friday was a clear uh, beer uh, in control here and uh, <clears throat> as for now we are in this mid range so i would say you should wait for a retest above uh, sorry of the monthly pivot point and see if we got a bounce from that level or play the upper edge up here around 1.1740 ish area uh, looking left this was um, important support and resistance level as you see and uh, look for uh, bearish evidence from that level uh, until <clears throat> we get a breakout as for now we're still inside that range and um, <clears throat> the price is not moving anywhere so 
the risk to reward here it would be very good if you find a good entry somewhere at the monthly pivot point uh, with a stop loss uh, below previous structure um, the risk to reward is uh, very good on uh, such a trade but I mean entering the market here where would you put your stop loss yeah would you put your stop loss uh, below this low or below this low or below this low so the price in a mid range could move all the way back down to the major resist uh, support or move back to a major resistance yeah so better to wait for uh, some structure to work with in my opinion this down here is an important structure and this up here is another important resistance so uh, better to work with these levels and if that got broken then our life gonna get much much easier then we know that we gonna test uh, even higher if we break above this level and the opposite would be for the downside yeah sterling usd let's go to the daily on that one as you see we broke above this trend line and uh, kept pushing higher uh, breaking once again above uh, this uh, important resistance that got broken retested and we got a continuation toward uh, this structure up here friday was a rejection as many other um, uh, pairs against the dollar but um, i still think that this area down here uh, the 1.3030 ish level could be a possible level for a continuation of this move yeah so a uh, good level to keep an eye at i would give you another example of how would it look like as a stop loss um, placement i would go with my stop loss below this uh, major structure low down here um, better, much better be than using this uh, minor structure or this one so this is the major swing low much better to uh, protect your stop loss some pips below that and uh, even though if you want to just target the previous structure high that would give you uh, more than uh, one to one yeah as you see we risk in 75 pips to uh, gain 102 pips but target two that would be much much better because i think the next major structure is uh, up here at uh, this area of um, support and resistance as you see been tested many times as support and resistance so we're gonna have some reaction at that level and could be a possible market objective to the to reach that level now i get many questions pierre how do you enter you talk about um, bullish evidence every time at such a structure uh, how, how um, would a bullish evidence look like well it's very easy you know if you are now we are looking at the four hour time frame it's up to you and your rules you could go to a lower time frame like uh, the one hour or the 15 minute also and you could be looking for a possible uh, double bottom at this level something like this with uh, some bullish divergence on the rsi and uh, take the trade from there or you could look for um, any reversal candle formation uh, bullish engulfing um, morning star formation that happened at this level on the one hour or the four hour that would give you another uh, reason um, i would like to see on the 15 minute time frame uh, a possible uh, head and shoulder with uh, a break and fake breakout below this would be great something like this go back give me another higher low down here at this support and that would be another reason to enter this market to the upside on lower time frame yeah so that would be uh, some of the triggers or if you just want to go with the limit order with your stop loss uh, below as i showed you earlier that is also possible but to be a little bit more safe better to wait for some bullish evidence waiting for the bullish evidence will give you a little bit less um, uh, sorry a little bit bigger 
um, stop loss, but uh, taking a limit order that would give you a smaller stop loss but that also could get um, taken out yeah uh, so if you want to be safe you need to wait for a confirmation Aussie USD on the daily we once again trying to break back above this uh, major support level here as you see we broke above and um, was I was looking for a possible retest to see if it's gonna hold but as you see Friday ended up as um, bearish engulfing and we are still testing these areas I mean if this to really start going higher now after breaking above uh, this structure high one could um, expect that but we want to see the price holding back above this structure yeah so we have this 618 here um, and this previous structure um, or previous uh, neckline this area could be a possible level to uh, for the price to uh, test and give you another bounce if that happened and the price enter back above uh, this uh, support level that would be very good for next week to start looking for more bullish evidence and a possible uh, reversal but do not forget this market is a strongly bearish market and uh, you could be going against the trend yeah so we tested a major structure right now as you see at this level we do have the neckline here we do have uh, these structure we do have this previous high that got tested yeah and this market could actually uh, start uh, continuing to the downside but in my opinion there is no um, trade to the downside yet until we see a break and close below this structure then we do have a continuation to the downside if we go down to the daily uh, up to the daily sorry you will see that um, the price did stop at the monthly s1 but after breaking this major structure so this could be um, the best way to look at this one is for a continuation to the downside and that is uh, still possible you could also have a short-term trade targeting this uh, major swing low down here yeah so and that could be any uh, kind of uh, bearish flag on uh, lower time frame uh, something like this and then wait for uh, the break of that flag uh, to the downside yeah could be looking something like this that would give you um, also a possible go good trade if you wait for something like that uh, and that would be in the direction of the major trend yeah usd jeppy another push higher last week and now we uh, broke above uh, this uh, important level uh, we broke new highs on the daily we broke this neckline on the four hour time frame let me take off this this is done already on the four hour time frame you see that we broke above the neckline we retested and we uh, put another push higher and um, the last line of defense is uh, this high up here yeah that got tested already last week and um, this market could actually keep pushing higher but for more upside and for more safety trades we want to see a break above this structure and this high here retest that hold and that will open the way all the way above uh, toward uh, 113 and 20 yeah so after breaking this neckline uh, one could anticipate some more upside especially if that gold keep moving lower yeah new zealand usd uh, on the daily we see that um, we retested this uh, structure here we never was able to break a higher high and friday's candle was bearish engulfing signaling a possible continuation to the downside now as you see here um, after testing this structure we've got a very strong bearish uh, engulfing followed by two uh, four hours bearish candles um, and testing once again uh, this uh, possible support level so for next week 
um, the levels to look at is uh, possible retest to this level that could send us once again to the downside or to watch if the price keep moving uh, toward monthly s1 which i think is very possible now after that bearish engulfing candle and uh, <clears throat> for further down you need to see a break below this previous structure low retest and continuation yeah it is still a very bearish market as you saw on um, the daily time frame uh, earlier uh, we pushing lower and lower breaking major levels every single time yeah usd cad <clears throat> once again the 1.3000 <laughs> still acting as major support level and uh, as you see we have uh, morning star formation here after uh, thursday's scandal we've got a star doji star and friday uh, bullish engulfing yeah and this is um, a reversal signal and uh, since it is happening as at this uh, support level that we've been watching for a while now uh, there is a possibility that we keep moving higher we were looking at this uh, in the room and we were talking about this possible channel on the one hour that we if we get a retest and a break of the channel continue lower now the opposite did happen we've got the retest to the ups uh, the break to the upside retest and uh, it seems that we may um, put another leg to the upside here especially if we got some um, some kind of uh, consolidation here in this area making a possible flag or another channel and uh, a break uh, to retest these necklines these uh, structure up here is uh, also a uh, possible uh, scenario for um, usd cad now after holding uh, this good support level yeah um first trouble gonna be at this uh, four hour structure here <clears throat> as you see we have some um, consolidation and then another push lower so uh, you need to keep an eye on that for more upside we need to break above this level yeah and um, so this need to be taken out then that will open the door for more upside on usd cat before any um, break below uh, this range to the downside we should be uh, keep looking for this uh, as a possible uh, continuation yeah we need to see a break below this structure here um usd chief same scenario we were looking for a break below this level if that happened we could uh, continue for another push lower uh, but as you see we broke but the retest did not show any um, reversal pattern it went back above so uh, as for now this could give um, a push higher or a possible uh, correction higher but as you see we broke back above and broke the trend line and uh, this support uh, did hold uh, for uh, usd uh, chief for our time frame <clears throat> it is this range that we uh, need to work with as you see we have this box here as our range for now um, next week if we got another retest here to this structure and bullish evidence once again that could be uh, a possible uh, reason to go long targeting these highs and at that level could be another uh, and possible uh, short scenario yeah since we broke below these levels now there is a possibility that we continue lower or if we keep moving sideways up as we've done so far yeah so you see this uh, is, is it is a clear range we have here and uh, you could play this range until you get a break out to one or the other side um, it seems like the downside is uh, for me uh, the better choice especially after breaking below these lows we're still trading below the 200 moving average that seem to be acting as dynamic uh, resistance yeah um, so 
<coughs> and that is this level up here yeah so um, yeah honestly i would be looking more for the short from the upside if that happened or if we break below here i will be trying to short the retest um so that was it for the youtube uh, video thanks a lot for watching and uh, hope you guys uh, like this session if you do please hit that like button for me and once again do subscribe to, ch to the channel if you're not subscribed yet okay bye bye for this week see you next sunday